Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our foundation level sample paper discussions. We are talking about chapter 3 of this particular set which is set C and uh, we have covered few questions from this chapter in our previous tutorial and we are talking about the remaining two questions of the chapter 3 in set C of the foundation level. The other two questions which we'll be talking about is a very rare scenario because that's typically talking about a real literal agile certification question so i would uh, strongly suggest here that these are not the typical scenario questions to be appearing in the examination but as it is a part of the sample paper uh, we would like to cover them but if you remember the syllabus does not talk about agile at all so they cannot get such deeper but the set c which was created recently by the board they have these questions which are additional and slightly outside and beyond the expectations of the foundation level so i personally suggest you not to deep dive into agile or raise concerns that should we be aware of agile in order to pass this no not at all required so these are just the rare type of questions which may or mostly may not appear but as it is a part of the sample paper, it's my responsibility to talk about it. But trust me, these questions appear in the Agile Tester Extension Certification. So let's take up the next question from this particular chapter, which is question number 17. You are working as a tester on an Agile team and have participated in over two dozen user story refinement sessions with the product owner and the developers on the team at the start of each iteration. So these are typical ceremonies of Agile if you are new to Agile. Uh, as the reviews have gotten uh, more effective at detecting defects in user stories and the product owner more adept at correcting those defects, you and your team notice that the team's velocity as shown in your burn down charts has started to increase. Which of the following is a benefit of testing that most directly applies to increased velocity? Okay, so now you would understand and come back to me saying that, see, there are a lot of things which are discussed which are not in the syllabus. For example, we don't know what is a story refinement session. We do not know what is uh, kind of, you know, velocity. We don't know what is uh the burn down chart right so we have never covered this in the foundation level so this is where i was saying that you probably may not have these questions appearing in the examination but uh, these are not asked to you from defining what is velocity right they're not asking you what is a refinement session so they're just using a typical scenario using certain standard terms is what you can say but the only thing what they're talking through the context of this question is you are doing static testing and uh, as a result of static testing, you have identified a lot of issues while reviewing the user stories, which are requirements in Agile. And uh, the product owner, who is basically the author of user stories, have started implementing and reducing those defects in upcoming user stories, right? So as an effect of finding defects or conducting static testing, the results have improved the way the stories are written, right? And that's the velocity is something which is saying that your team is now capable of doing more work than fixing problems, right? So this is where the velocity is related to. So no, even if you don't know what is Agile, you can still relate these things and come back to a conclusion that the question is not about Agile, it is about static testing. So what is that which is most directly applies to this increased velocity? And we have four options here. Option A is talking about increasing total cost of quality. No, it is reducing the cost of quality and which is certainly talking about from the perspective of reducing the number of defects, implementing the practices and preventing the defects. So as the defects are being prevented now, uh, in turn, the velocity is increased. It is in decreasing the cost of quality, rather increasing, right? So A is not the right answer. B, reducing the testing cost. Now that's a typical or tricky option what you can say. Now, increasing velocity is a sign of increasing development productivity overall, not just testing. So I cannot say that testing cost alone is reduced, right? Which is uh, incorrect to be picked up as the right answer because the development also has, you know, decreased in terms of cost. Productivity has increased, but the cost has decreased. So not alone testing is getting affected 
when you're talking about agile team here the whole team gets affected by having a particular process or practice in place let's look at option c increasing development productivity so velocity is more about development uh, activity and that is certainly being increased so increasing development productivity is related to velocity so velocity is a way of measuring productivity in agile development so what is the number of story points you have delivered so far and that's how it goes uh, d reducing total cost of quality uh, the benefit mentioned uh, has to deal with increasing overall development team productivity so again that's not relevant the velocity goes only with development and the story so we have slight contradiction here because as per the scrum guide we say it's the whole team approach not alone development because even testers have some story points there to be delivered and velocity is not limited to development this is where i was saying that these questions can be slightly uh very 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 out of syllabus and you don't really need to break your head to do this job so first of all the answer none of the answer is correct here okay because it should be reducing actually the answer should be d because as per the scrum guide if you go for agile fundamentals the answer is the whole team productivity will be increased or whole cost of quality will be reduced but as per the syllabus as per the template the right answer here is c increasing development productivity but velocity is not limited to development velocity is for the whole scrum team right but as far as they talk about agile could be different right so we just close on here but trust me these are not the questions which you can expect in the examination they will evaluate the examination questions pretty much before they give it to you let's look at the next question which is again typical scenario of agile and this is strongly not suggested for the foundation level examination i'm not sure what this question is doing here question number 18 you are working on a video game development project using agile methods it is based on greek mythology and history and players can play key roles in scenarios such as battles between the greeks and the trojans consider the following user story and its acceptance associated acceptance criteria so the user story are written in a typical format what you can see here like as a player i want to be able to acquire the rod of midas a new magic object so that i can turn objects and other players into gold so again a typical gaming scenario you don't have to be a gamer typically uh, you know don't have to be a tester of game but yeah this is just a scenario that as a player i want to do this now there are five acceptance criteria given for this the rod must work on any object or player no matter what size which can be touched anywhere by the player holding the rod acceptance criteria two holding the rod does not change the player holding into gold so that's another criteria if he can turn other objects into gold uh, not himself okay the scenario says i can turn objects and other players into gold not himself that the person who's playing so ac2 is that ac3 any object or player touched by the rod transforms completely into gold within one millisecond so the timeline has been given to you that the moment you touch within one millisecond the item should turn into gold ac4 the rod appears as shown in the prototype owrom so that's the official documentation for the uh, gaming platform and uh, it should appear like that and ac5 the transformation starts at the point of contact with the rod and moves at the rate of 1 meter per millisecond while changing into the gold so again very very you know typical scenario of a literal game and if you have played that's good it will be easy for you to understand but if you have not played a game still this this is not expected to be a game testing question but yes you can understand that what exactly is being expected to do here now the question you are participating in a checklist based review session of this user story this user story and its associated acceptance criteria contain which of the following typical defects identified by stating uh, static testing in this type of work product now reading throughout the entire story has given us a insight that what exactly is the whole scenario and we want to pick up that certain thing that it should be identifiable as a ordinary tester 
that if this statement, this scenario is given to you, you need to find out where are we having problem in this particular acceptance criteria and user story. So I would keep it very, very straightforward to you that if I look at all these stories or the story and the acceptance criteria, I find one particular contradiction here that is between AC3 and AC5, right? Acceptance criteria three and five. Acceptance criteria three says any object or player touched by the rod transforms completely into gold within one millisecond. And at the same time, you are telling me at acceptance criteria five, the transformation starts at the point of contact with the rod and moves at a rate of one meter per millisecond. Now, what's this one meter? Is the object pretty much long and it's gonna take long time? Because here you said you sh it should turn completely into one millisecond. Now, no matter how big the object is, it should turn into gold within one millisecond, right? Completely. And on the other hand, AC5 is telling you that it should go on the rate of one meter per millisecond, which is straightforward contradicting. And I have identified this as an issue or as a finding during the static review of the checklist based or any other technique, right? So if you look at the options now, option A says deviation from the standards. We are not talking about any code review. Thus code review can only have the standards implemented. So here we don't have that. So we cannot say this is one of that. B contradiction. Yes, that's somewhere relevant. C security vulnerabilities. Again, we are not talking about any security breach here. So that's nothing to do with our scenario. D coverage gaps. Again, we are not looking at any of the traceabilities here or missing tests which are covering this user story. So we cannot talk about the missing gaps on the coverage measurement, right? So keeping it very straightforward, the right answer here is B, contradictions, where we have the contradiction between AC3 and AC5, which is not meeting. So again, if you look from one particular side, you don't really have to know what is acceptance criteria, what is user story. You just have to read the scenario and give the answer. But this is a typical question which only Agile certifications will have, not the foundation level. But still, my job was here to prepare you for everything so that tomorrow you should say, okay, let it come. Now I know how to handle it, right? So all the very best for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.